All right, uh, good Thursday morning. I'm First Warren Storm Team Chief Meteorologist Brad Panovich. I want to give you an update on the storm heading our way. It was looking kind of interesting, actually, over the last few days, but really more and more, I'm not overly concerned with the freezing rain and sleep possibilities for Charlotte. I'm really worried about areas up against the mountains. Let me get into this and explain uh, what I mean by that. Let's take a look at the current situation. Kind of a fascinating-looking visible satellite image here. The first thing you're going to see... I'll widen out just a little bit. A big sprawling area of high clouds have moved over the Carolinas. Here's our low pressure developing down here in the Gulf of Mexico. Uh, you can clearly see where it is right now down here over the western Gulf. Let's go into the Carolinas. These high clouds are really going to keep temperatures pretty cool right now. Uh, I'm going to throw on um, basically the surface pressures here so you get an idea of what's going on with the pressure fields um, across the southeast. We've got high pressure kind of um, sitting over the central plains and that high pressure there it is right over Oklahoma City and we're getting a little bit of wedging developing here across the Carolinas. As we take a look at the current surface reports I'll switch over to current surface reports you can see there's a freezing rain being reported in most of Louisiana some sleet pellets up here in Vicksburg snow in Jackson traces snow in central Louisiana even in central Alabama we've got some sleet and freezing rain and then on top of that look at that freezing rain just south of Brownsville 28 degrees um, that's freezing rain south Padre Island it says light rain but look at the current temperature 28.4 degrees uh, that by definition is freezing rain so this thing is going to be heading up our way and how is this thing going to unfold well here's our in-house model We'll start this into motion. I'll pause this a couple of times. You'll see first we got this big area of overrunning moisture here. And watch as it heads towards the Carolinas. These are thickness lines here and different thicknesses we're watching. Initially, uh, we could see a little bit of sleet or freezing rain in the upstate of South Carolina, maybe all the way to Charlotte. Again, this would be basically tomorrow uh, morning into Friday but as we go through the day the warm air kind of, kind of wins out and it becomes all rain and but the one area right here up against the Blue Ridge Mountains this is the area we're gonna to have to watch carefully as this thing unfolds the warm air will even win out there as the warmer gets wrapped in heavy snow probably just west of the mountains into the North Carolina mountains and the Virginia mountains but right now I'm not overly concerned with a big deal for the Piedmont I'll let this loop one more time. I'm really more concerned about what's going to happen in the North Carolina mountains in the foothills. Here's the moisture. Notice right there, here's our wintry mix. Again, this is likely sleet or light freezing rain in here. As we put this into motion, notice Charlotte. Charlotte's right there where the cursor is. All rain right now. This is uh, Friday afternoon. So this is going to be just a brief period of sleet or freezing rain for Charlotte. But look at this area. Your typical up, uh, up, up sloping areas where the wedge is in place, the southeast wind will mechanically cool this air as well as the cold air trapped there, and we'll likely see some freezing rain persist in the North Carolina mountains. Let's look at the soundings. This is the NAM sounding. Uh, all green is good for Charlotte Friday morning through Saturday morning. All rain. Let's take a look at Hickory, though. Uh, the difference in Hickory from the NAM model. All rain as well. We don't see any freezing rain, which is good. But let's take a look at the Boone sounding. This is Boone. Again, Friday, a lot of freezing rain right there. That's a little disheartening. That could mean uh, maybe a quarter inch of ice up in the North Carolina mountains. And the area we're talking about, again, let me put the temperatures on here. The areas we're talking about is Western Burke and Western Caldwell. Wilkes County, maybe even parts of uh, Alexander County, and then Avery, Ash, and Watauga County. Right in here, though, uh, Yadkin Valley, Cedar Rock, Lenore, um, Collegeville, Gamwell, Saw Mills, possibly down to Granite Falls, but I think it's really going to be uh, essentially right here along Highway 64 again, where we'll chop that off. Anything north and west of that interstate right in there. So that's what I'm thinking right now. Uh, not overly concerned with the uh, possibility of sleet or freezing rain in Charlotte, though I do think we'll see some sleet mix in. The primary concern for, for us, excuse me, will just be rain, but we'll keep an eye on the mountains. And don't let your guard down yet, folks. Next week, big time potential for some snow, possibly middle of the week. We'll keep you up to date, and I'll see you today starting at 4. Have a great day.